Alright, what's up guys, and welcome to another episode of Gaming History 101's Retro Game Night. We are doing the uh, only in UK and Japan game, Michigan, and this is night three, and I am enjoying a very popular, very fancy vintage Miller Lite that I found tonight, so we're going to have some fun here. Let's crack this open after... Hey, we're just fighting. about to arrive. Oh, that's right. We fought the monster at the lodge. It was Snuffleupagus's his tentacle brother. <laughs> I'm really grateful to her. There we go. It's a Miller Lite open. And here we go with Michigan going to the main headquarters of Zaka or Zaka TV, depending on how they define it. The fog is thick here, too. We might run into some monsters, so watch out. And this game has been amusing, slightly boring, and hilarious at parts. So I cannot wait to continue. <laughs> Mr. Briscoe! You're alright! Oh, thank goodness! I think she's into you, dude. Yeah. A lot of stuff happened, but we're still alive. Good to see you're alright, too. How were things at home? <laughs> My family had already gotten home. away. I could How's be your mom? Jonesy, though. I'm a little worried about him. Jonesy? Jonesy's oh. our puppy. Oh, okay. Well, I bet your family took him with them. I hope so, the pricks. So what about the chief? Did you already talk to her? No, I was, I was about just to tell about her to go she's in. a bitch, but I haven't gotten there yet. Oh, okay. In that case, let's go oh. in together. Group effort. All right. Okay, now. You still have that shotgun? Let's really let the chief have really it this Watch time. it there, man. You're gonna concuss yourself with that boom we mic. really gotta let her know in no uncertain terms. The teams go through this. hell out there when we're covering the news. Okay, take it easy, champ. Especially champ. this time. The government issued an evacuation advisory, but she sent us out anyway. A lot of our colleagues have disappeared. I.e. died. Some of them okay. are even dead. Like, like Pamela. Pamela. You can't let this one go. I'd like to make that damn chief go through the same thing poor Pamela went through. You said it. I think the company has been handling things really <laughs> badly this You're time. You're real calm about what has actually been going on Damn here. Damn straight. And you know what else? You were a bitch. I mean, no, I didn't mean that. She'd better make You're damn sure she doesn't go exposing here. any more of us employees to danger. <laughs> and she'd better let the ones who are left evacuate. I'm going to make her promise. And you... You get it all on tape, all right? Okay, good. Yeah, move it, Twitchy McTwitchers, and are you real pleased with yourself? Huh? Get out of the elevator, you asshole. Yikes! Monsters! Pesky runts! Fire! You did fantastic, sweetheart. Yeah, baby! Yeah, baby. You did it! Oh, hello. She's getting up close and aggro with it. Let's go. Cool. Let's do it. Yeah, Ra Robbie Adonis? Seriously? <laughs> Robbie Adonis. Oh, won't let me listen to it. That's too bad. I really wanted to hear the name of Robbie Adonis. <laughs> Salty. I love 
love filling cabinets. What the hell? Thong and boobs. <laughs> So the chief's in there, huh? Apparently. Okay, let's go in. Open the pub yes, door and let's. I guess we'll see. Excuse me? I'm Carly Reese. What's going on? Sup, What's this disturbance? And a camera, too. What's the oh, meaning yeah, of this? I just want to film this from the right angle. We want to talk to you about something. I take this very seriously. Oh, you do, do you? And what might that be? Um, well, it's, uh... Hey, what's the matter? Go ahead and tell her! Please don't well, become a demon. Well, you see, it's, uh... Speak up now. It's your job to communicate, isn't it? Uh, oh, yes. Yes, you're right. I don't yeah, think I can do no this, Mr. Balls. Briscoe. When she looks at me, I don't know. I get all flustered and I can't speak. What? Mm. <laughs> what? Is that old mm. rumor true? The one about the chief having... Wait. Uh, Come on. Special relationship. You don't think she doesn't notice you, right? <laughs> Seriously? Pamela Seriously. Denied it, but I don't know. What are you yeah. two whispering about? You're being very I rude, agree. you know. Here. Over here with you, chief. Uh, all right. In all Fine. your glory. I'll say it then. Listen, chief. Hmm. Let's see. Your name was Fired? Briscoe, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's right. Briscoe. Uh, gee. You know my name? Wow. I'm honored. You have a reputation for doing fine work out in the field. You're the number one candidate for this year's Flair Award. Uh, am I Jesus. really? And of course, I've been thinking about a suitable promotion for you. Wow. Uh, thank you very much, ma'am. You want me to shoot the reporter in the face? I what guess I can do what that. You were saying before. Oh! Right! Of course. Oh, he's doing the now, Parkinson's thing again. Here, Chief. You deliberately ignored the government's evacuation advisory. You demanded Worst that the news case of the hiccups I've ever story. seen on record. You unnecessarily put their lives you in jeopardy. Dirty bitch. Oh my. I never demanded that the teams do anything. Just shut up and listen. And listen good. What? Chief. I, John Philip Briscoe, say this as a representative Is he of rapping? all Zaka TV news teams. We refuse to get kicked around anymore. He's rapping. My, my. This is fascinating. This Please shit just on. went off the rails. So this is what so this you're is what gonna, you're do, gonna do, Chief. Find out what happened to every single news team member that disappeared, and make sure we all get evacuated. evacuated. You're gonna do these things, and you're gonna do them right away. You got that? And you're gonna apologize to and compensate the families of the Quick, team members who Quick, tell you don't died. negotiate with terrorists. I want you to promise you're gonna do these things right here in front of this well, camera. That doesn't sound appropriate. 
There's no need for that. All those things have already been taken care hmm. of. Oh, they have? But, hey, wait just a minute. Show me you're taking this seriously. Don't delegate these things to your staff. I want you to take care of them personally. Briscoe, let me share something with you. Five hours from now, there'll be a military rescue transport at the airport. That's the military. Do you hear me? I negotiated for this with General Sanders personally, you see. Now, I hope you're beginning to understand. Oh, I see. A military transport, you say? Well, that's great. I guess somebody as important as you would oh have lots God, of high-level connections like that. Oh my God, you buckled like a belt, dude. Like Gee, I... Well... So, Briscoe, would you like to be <laughs> on that transport? Well, sure. Then shoot the reporter in the face. Of course. You want to get out of here? Yes, uh, I'll do anything. Well, then I have a little favor to ask. A favor, <laughs> ma'am? What is it? One of our men is being held in detention in a certain place. Held in detention? What for? Please, don't ask. <clears throat> the man's name is Glenn Buckland. <laughs> Love the names you? in this. With the confusion of the evacuation advisory, I'm afraid he was left behind, still locked up. We just can't leave him there now, can we? I'd like you to go rescue him. Mm, okay. Wow. <laughs> you want to make sure every single employee is all right. Isn't that what you said? Well, yes. Yes, of course. So, where is this guy being held? At Castle Grey School. In a research room at the Von Erich Library. A research room at the library. Got it. We'll get him out of there. And as I'm sure you've realized, this could be a big scoop. I eat you know, promotion. a dramatic rescue scene. Make sure you get it all on tape. And as for your report... Uh, yes, ma'am. Your work hasn't been quite up to snuff lately. Uh -oh. A news reporter has to be professional and accurate at all times, you know. I'm sorry. A pro never makes excuses for herself. Take the chance you're given and get it right. This next report will be your moment of truth. Yes, ma'am. I'll do the best job I possibly can. You do that. Very well. That will be all. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Excuse us, then. Hmm, Mr. Briscoe, that didn't well, work very well, did depends it? on your view on I that. I don't know what happened. I couldn't help it. You became a gigantic it was tool. Like I couldn't go against her, you know? Didn't you feel the same way? Don't bring her into yes. this. Whatever the chief asks me to do, I feel like I really have to give it my all. Even if it means risking my own life. She's good. Y yeah, me too. Let's go do this thing then. Yes, let's. <clears throat> let's head to that library. Will you drive? Sure. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Wow. That is charisma. Of course I will save. That was the longest scene in the history of man. Sorry if the camera was kind of rotating back and forth. I was just bored. It was mildly amusing watching the transaction, but Jesus, that could have been a lot shorter. 
That was like the ten minute mandatory cutscene. Felt like a Metal Gear game. Are we at the library now? So they locked the poor guy up. That's going way too far. That's I wonder what's for. Far. I bet he was fired. What are you talking about? That's right. You know, like the company wanted to do a little restructuring, so they made him work under intolerable conditions until he quit. Yeah? And then what? Like maybe on the pretext of having him concentrate on gathering data without being disturbed, they shut him up in the library research room during his working hours. And then they were just going to keep that up until he got fed up with it and quit on his own. That's outrageous. That's yes, it is. But if we don't do a good job on this report, it could be us next. And we want to escape the city and get out of this Absolutely. fog, right? So let's do our best. Yeah, I'm with you. Look, we're almost at the library. Let's get rid of our detained college. <laughs> I promise you there are monsters. From now on. Three, two, one. <sighs> Good evening, everyone. This is Carly Reese. I'm reporting to you now from in front of the Von Erich Library. Our news team has remained behind here in the city, still covered in a mysterious fog. To bring Guys, the news. this, as they Apparently, say, is according one to information we got just recently, got there is a man still here at the library who was shut up and left behind in a research room. We're just about to go in and rescue him. We're here inside the Von Erich Library. There's no sign of anybody around. The staff has probably all evacuated already. We're now going to try and find the research room where the man is reportedly being held. Okay. This is the checkout desk. This is where books would ordinarily be borrowed from the library. As you can see, there's no one here now. Fat stacks. I want to be a reporter, apparently. As you can see, the library's interior is dim. The shelves are filled with row upon row of neat, orderly books. It's deadly quiet here. What the second floor looks like. Let's go yes, and see, let's. shall we? Usually, this library is a place where many people gather to read and do research. Today, however, it's empty. As you can see, the second floor also has book stacks. Many, many books fill the shelves. The library is empty now. Will a day come when people turn the pages of these books once again? Chickity. Yeah, 
There we go. <clears throat> oh no! Open. It must be locked. Touche. Wait. Okay, yeah, sorry guys. I'm guessing I need to go down. Here are stairs that lead to the basement. Let's go see what right, it looks like, Sorry for the delay we? there. I guess this is just a very basic follow the reporter despite what I was doing. It's a large space. There don't appear to be any books in here. This room must be used for some other purpose. Death. It seems to be a terminal for looking up books. That's but is the question. it working? Sweet. Oh, yes, it's working. There's okay. something on the screen. What is it? It's... <gasps> That's not a book research terminal. It's a security camera say. monitor. A security camera monitor? Well, what a surprise. We found a surveillance system that looks like a search terminal. It seems every room in the library can be observed right here on this monitor. There we go. Look at that. Look, there's something there. Yeah, the key. It's so small, I can't see oh, it very well. Oh, I can. Well. Hmm, the way those books are lined up looks a little strange. Hmm. Oh, there's somebody there. 
There's a man in the small room at the back. This must be the man they say was locked in. He appears to be afraid of something. Like life. I wonder how we can rescue mm, him. Run in there and say, what's up? Mm, there we go. There's something written on the wall. Michigan. 10 plus 9 plus 8 plus 8 plus 9 plus 7 plus 1 plus 14 equals Michigan. C equals... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. see here there we go okay <clears throat> 13 is M 9 is I 3 is C so C equals 3 and the answer is 3 There we go. Look at that! That clock is a little strange. It only has an hour hand. There Can you hear me? This is Carly Reese of Zaka TV. Can you hear me? Don't worry, we've come to get you out of there. He's up top. Damn it. Sorry, guys. Hey, there's something on the floor. It's a videotape. Let's pick it up. Ghostbusters. Thank <laughs> you. 
Here we go. <clears throat> it's a step ladder. All right, sorry about the delay, guys. I Finally bet I figured could it use out. The yep, to get up, up on them bookshelves, the baby. Thank you. Get that key. What could it be? Ah, as you can see, I found a key on top of the bookshelves. Does it belong to one of the library's visitors? Or maybe it opens one yeah, of the exactly. doors here in this library. Every inch. Where is she going? I don't not follow her now. Of course not. The old books on the shelves give off a faintly musty odor. It's that smell unique to libraries. We call it book stank. But here we go. Here we go. I yes, I there we go. This with that key. It worked. It opened. I wonder what this room is for. It seems to be a perfectly ordinary room. There's a desk and a few other things here and there. Like a boom mic operator that can walk through freaking desks. Okay, the answer to the equation to three is the date on the calendar plus the arrangement of the bookshelves plus the broken clock. Which I'm guessing the security can teach me. Shrimp. Shoot up! Shoot up! Oh, Brian Shrimp. Okay, so it's 18 plus the clock plus the bookshelves.
Hey, hold on. We just Fair barely enough. started to look around. Hey, take a look at that. The way those bookshelves okay, are set. Okay, three. Yes, Doesn't it's it look three. Like a number? So eighteen, three. Doesn't yeah. Doesn't look like. Thank you. A three. B, C, D, E. It's five. Okay, the clock is nine. So it's eighteen, nine, three, and five. I can't. You can't figure out the code? You should try paying attention. Haven't you been taking notes or anything? Now, let's see. I think it was one, two, three, six, or something like that. What? You can't figure out the code? You should try paying attention. Haven't you been taking notes or anything? Now, let's see. I think it was five, eight, three, nine, or something like that. Alright. 
Let's go up to where the note was. Unfortunately, this game, from a survival horror standpoint, gets a little more derivative. The answer to the equation. The date on the calendar is 18, the arrangement of the books is 3, the broken clock is 9. 18, 3, and 9... I guarantee you I put in 18, 3, and 9. But the equation's got to be something different. It's like 18 plus 3. It's 18 divided by 3 plus 9, or 18 divided by 3 times 9. can't figure out the code? You should try paying attention. Haven't you been taking notes or anything? Now, let's see. I think it was five, eight, three, nine, or something like that. Well, let's try it. Why not? Lock opened. Let's go in. Glenn! Are you all right? I'm Carly Reese from Zaka TV. We came to rescue you. He's been killed. Another monster, maybe? Oh, look! It's an air vent. Nice. A monster must have gotten in through there and attacked this guy. Something terrible has happened here. A monster. A monster got into this basement room. Zaka TV News Team did our best to get to him as quickly as we could. But I'm afraid we were too late. When we ran into this room, he had already been killed in the horrible way you see here. The monster probably came in through that air vent, killed the man, and then vanished. Our news team is now in danger, too. Don't rub us in, girl. We feel bad to leave the poor man lying here, but I'm afraid we'd better leave at once. I'm Carly Reese, reporting to you from the Von Erich Library. Okay, that was good. Ah, uh, I hope the chief will think so, too. Oh, I bet she will. 
What with the gross footage and all. Okay. Hold on a minute. Look, it's the man's notebook. Could yeah, you film absolutely. this for me too? Yep. Maybe, but I think we're going to Club much? Goichi next. And Goichi Suda is Suda 51. He was supposed to meet a oh, Dr. Club Gochi. At Club Gochi today. But still. I wonder who this Dr. O'Connor is. An Irish boy. I wonder. Or a girl. But I bet he's the one who knows the real facts behind this mysterious fog and the monsters. So you want to go there? Of course, Mr. Briscoe. It's a big scoop. Absolutely, I'm going to save. Sorry about that one taking a while, guys. You're really fired up, aren't you? Well, I'm scared too, but I'm even more angry. We don't have any answers, but we've been attacked by monsters and seen people get killed and everything. Why did so many people have to die? I want to know why. Yeah, Club yeah, Gochi. I couldn't agree with you more. Look, we're pulling up to Club Gochi now. everyone this is Carly Reese following up on our own leads our news team has been able to learn that dr. O'Connor a man thought to know what's behind the tragedies that have been occurring here in Chicago is here at Club Gucci just what kind of man is this dr. O'Connor and does he know the truth these are questions that will know. hopefully soon be answered <laughs> And frankly, we don't even know if our heads are out of our collective asses. As you can see, it is pitch black here inside Club Gochi. We can't see anything. Sweet. Mr. Briscoe, can you turn on the lights? No, let's go pitch black. We can't film like this. Hold on. I'll flip the switch. Where is it? It should be like the opening of Blade. Oh, here it is. No good. It looks like the breaker is off. Where's the breaker? How should I know? Up I your ass, douche. So what should we do? We can't broadcast a pitch black awesome. report. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, I think there was a junk shop in this neighborhood. Maybe we can find an infrared unit for the camera there. Oh, good. Let's go find that junk shop then. Get in, everybody. I've been to this junk shop okay. before when we were in the area doing a story. The owner was bragging they have everything under the sun there. Really? Well, I hope he's right. Well, we'll shake we down. I'm gonna floor it. Let's go to shake down. I don't know. It looks like a pretty filthy place. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah, that's right. Do you really think they'll have an infrared unit for the camera there? We won't know until we go look. Oh, yuck. That's it's okay. all dusty in here. I'd better not get <laughs> my clothes dirty. Yes. 
your white ass and your thong should better not get dirty. You want to grab one of those? What are these things? They're antennas and tuners for radios. We don't need anything like that right now. Monitors here. <clears throat> Guess they carry Would a lot one of, of them audio be an infrared equipment. sensor. Hey, did you hear something just now? Huh? Over here. What? You ignoring me? Over here. Thank you. Cat's key. On the floor. Please pick it up. It's a key. Wonder if it goes to something here in the shop. Good. It's like pulling it teeth. Won't open. They're computer tower cases. See something interesting? Wait, not yet. We can't go back without an infrared unit. We won't be able to film anything. They've got all kinds of stuff, huh? Some of it's even illegal, sitting right out in plain sight.
what they want me to do here. They're car batteries. Freaking sixty nine. Alright, bear with me for a second, guys. Oh, really? Was the answer? Was I wrong? What's in here? Let's go in and That's see. That's terrible. Seriously? Oh, yep. it's a restroom. God, what a stink. Sorry, kids, I had a burrito for lunch. Yes, we are. Because really I checking promise this you, this is where what we need is gonna be. Well, actually, I've been waiting to take a leap. Thanks, for subtle a man. I know, but I've been holding it. Gross! Hurry up, then. Sorry. Yikes! <laughs> Dead hooker! Oh my god! Oh my god! That's weird. What the hell? Well, don't I'm get weird about it. Pants. Just go into the stall. Hey, I agree. You better not, Mr. Briscoe. Let's hurry up and get out of here. There might be some monsters around. Foreshadow, foreshadow, foreshadow.
What? What in the world do you want me to look at? Finally. Jesus God. It'd be nice if we could get into the storeroom. Jesus God. Shall I try to How did I not see up? that? Ugh. <sighs> Classic games. Love them. It's nothing but junk. Gotta be an infrared unit around here somewhere. Isn't there one single nice thing in here? Sorry. I think their designer bags are sold out. There we go. It doesn't look like there's anything else here. We've seen the shit. We've seen the slip already. Special wooden crates. Okay, that's what I missed. Okay. Wonderful. There we go. What's this? Oh, Mr. Briscoe, isn't this it? Yeah, an infrared unit. All we have to do is slap this on the camera and we'll be able to shoot in the dark. Now we can finally make a real report. Great, that's it then. Yes, let's hurry back to Club Gochi. All right, guys, for better or for worse, I'm going to call to a close part three. Uh, I don't know. Uh, game's cool so far. It's weird, and uh, I have no idea how much longer it is. But if it wants to go on for probably, I would guess I'm halfway through. That's cool with me. Anyway, until next time, this is uh, Fred Rojas from Gaming History 101 saying peace out. Check us out at GamingHistory101.com or VGP forward slash TGS on YouTube.com. Or, sorry, YouTube.com forward slash VGP TGS. Thank you and good night. Briscoe, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's right. Frisco. Uh, gee. 
You know my name? Wow, I'm honored. You have a reputation for doing fine work out in the field. You're the number one candidate for this year's Flair Award. Uh, am I Jesus. really? And of course, I've been thinking about a suitable promotion for you. Wow. Uh, thank you very much, ma'am. You want me to shoot the reporter in the face? I what guess I could do what that. You were saying before. Oh! Right! Of course! Oh, he's doing the now, Parkinson's thing again. Here, Chief. You deliberately ignored the government's evacuation advisory. You demanded Worst that the news case of the hiccups I've ever stories. seen on record. You unnecessarily put their lives you in jeopardy. Dirty bitch. Oh my. I never demanded that the teams do anything. Just shut up and listen. And listen good. What? Chief. I, John Philip Briscoe, say this as a representative Is of he all rapping? Zaka TV news teams. We refuse to get kicked around anymore. He's rapping. My, my. This is fascinating. This Jeez, shit just went on. off the rails. So this is what so this you're going to do, gonna Chief. Do, Chief. Find out what happened to every single news team member that disappeared. And make sure we all get evacuated. evacuated. You're going to do these things, and you're going to do them right away. You got that. And you're going to apologize to and compensate the families of the Quick, team members who Quick, tell them you don't died. negotiate with terrorists. I want you to promise you're going to do these things right here in front of this camera. Alright, what's up guys, and welcome to another episode of Gaming History 101's Retro Game Night. We are doing the uh, only in UK and Japan game, Michigan. And this is night three, and I am enjoying a very popular, very fancy vintage Miller Lite that I found tonight, so... We're gonna have some fun here. Let's crack this open after. Hey, we're fighting. just about to arrive. Oh, that's right. We fought the monster at the lodge. It was Snuffle Up against his tentacle brother. <laughs> I'm really grateful to her. There we go. It's a Miller light open. And here we go with Michigan going to the main headquarters of Zaka or Zaka TV, depending on how they define it. The fog is thick here, too. We might run into some monsters, so watch out. And this game has been amusing, slightly boring, and hilarious at parts. So I cannot wait to continue. <laughs> Mr. Briscoe! You're alright! Oh, thank goodness! I think she's into you, dude. Yeah. A lot of stuff happened, but we're still alive. Good to see you're alright, too. How were things at home? <laughs> My family had already gotten home. away. I couldn't your find Jonesy, though. I'm a little worried about him. Jonesy? Jonesy's oh. our puppy. Oh, okay. Well, I bet your family took him with them. I hope so, the pricks. So what about the chief? Did you already talk to her? No, I was about to tell you she's a bitch, but I haven't gotten there yet. Oh, okay. In that case, let's go oh. in together. Group effort. All right. Okay, now. You still have that shotgun? Let's really let the Jesus, chief have it this time. Watch it there, man. You're going to concuss yourself with that boom mic. We really got to let her know in no uncertain terms. The teams go through <laughs> hell out there when we're covering the news. Okay, take it easy, Especially champ. Especially this time. The government issued an evacuation advisory, but she sent us out anyway. Doesn't sound appropriate. There's no need for that. All those things have already been taken care hmm. of. 
Oh, they have? But, hey, wait just a minute. Show me you're taking this seriously. Don't delegate these things to your staff. I want you to take care of them personally. Briscoe, let me share something with you. Five hours from now, there'll be a military rescue transport at the airport. That's the military. Do you hear me? I negotiated for this with General Sanders personally, you see. Now, I hope you're beginning to understand. Oh, I see. A military transport, you say? Well, that's great. I guess somebody as important as you would oh have lots of high-level connections like, like, a belt, like dude. that. Gee, I... Well... So, Briscoe, would you like to be on that <laughs> transport? Well, sure. Then shoot the reporter in the face. Of course. You want to get out of here? Yes. Uh, I'll do anything. Well, then I have a little favor to ask. A favor, <laughs> ma'am? What is it? One of our men is being held in detention in a certain place. Held in detention? What for? Please, don't ask. <clears throat> the man's name is Glenn <laughs> Buckland. Love the I names mean. in this. With the confusion of the evacuation advisory, I'm afraid he was left behind, still locked up. We just can't leave him there now, can we? I'd like you to go rescue him. Mm, okay. Wow. You want to make sure every single employee is all right. Isn't that what you said? Well... Salty. I love filling cabinets. What the hell? Thong and boobs. <laughs> So the chief's in there, huh? Apparently. Okay, let's go in. Open the pub yes, door and let's. I guess we'll see. Excuse me? I'm Carly Reese. What's going on? Sup, What's this disturbance? And a camera too. What's the oh, meaning yeah, I of just this? I want to film this from the right angle. We want to talk to you about something. I take this very seriously. Oh, you do, do you? And what might that be? Um, well, it's, uh... Hey, what's the matter? Go ahead and tell her! Please don't well, become a demon. Well, you see, it's, uh... Speak up now. It's your job to communicate, isn't it? Uh, oh, yes. Yes, you're right. I don't yeah, think I can do no this, Mr. Balls. Briscoe. When she looks at me, I don't know. I get all flustered and I can't speak. What? Hmm. <laughs> what? Is that old mm. rumor true? The one about the chief having... Uh, wait. Come on. Special relationship. You don't think she doesn't notice you, right? <laughs> Seriously? Pamela Seriously. Denied it, but I don't know. What are you yeah. two whispering about? You're being very I rude, agree. you know. Here. Over here with you, chief. Uh, all right. In all Fine. your glory. I'll say it then. Listen, chief. Hmm. Let's see. Your name was... Fired? A lot of our colleagues have disappeared. I.e. died. Some of them okay. are even dead. 
like, like Pamela. Pamela. You can't let this one go. I'd like to make that damn chief go through the same thing poor Pamela went through. You said it. I think the company has been handling things really <laughs> badly this You're time. You're real calm about what has actually been going on Damn here. Damn straight. And you know what else? You were a bitch. I mean, no, I didn't mean that. She'd better make You're damn best. sure she, she doesn't go exposing here. any more of us employees to danger. <laughs> and she'd better let the ones who are left evacuate. I'm going to make her promise. And you... You get it all on tape, all right? Okay, good. Yeah, move it, Twitchy McTwitcherson. Are you real pleased with yourself? Huh? Get out of the elevator, you asshole. Yikes! Monsters! Pesky runts! Fire! You did fantastic, sweetheart. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. You did it. Oh, hello. She's getting up close and aggro with it. Let's go. Cool. Let's do it. Yeah, Ra Robbie Adonis? Seriously? <laughs> Robbie Adonis. Oh, won't let me listen to it. That's too bad. I really wanted to hear the name of Robbie Adonis.